Hi traders, S&P 500 finished the week with no change. Nasdaq moved up just a little bit. We had a very low volume and low volatility week, exactly what traders hate. The week started with some positive economic news, however, ended up with the terrible data employment news, which came out on Friday and didn't move the market down. And the reason for that is because the employment data would probably help the Fed keep the rate down, which means we are not expecting, expecting a rate hike on June. Now the market is still holding to the highs which is very interesting because two weeks ago we moved up by 2.3 percent and in fact we were expecting a possible pullback but we did not pull back which means that the market is still holding and waiting for news. Now the news may came, come this week on on Wednesday when we have the Fed results which is very interesting because it will probably determine the market duration this week. Let's take a technical view of the market. As you can see the S&P 500 daily we are still holding to the highs. No pullback this week and we are holding just below the 2100 area which is a very strong resistance point. Now it, it is a very interesting thing to see this week if the market will keep on holding to this point or move. We are expecting a big move either up or down. However, since we are holding to the highs, it is more likely to see an upside move. Let's take a look at uh, last week picks. Our first long last week was MDT, which is doing great. It's up 1.5%. It looks good and I expect and hope it will continue. My first target, just to remind you, is 3%. We are not there yet. My second pick for last week was Baba Long. Baba did trigger, however failed. So we have a loser there here and the maximum loss that I take on a trade like that is never more than 3%. So Baba's out of the game. Let's have, let's have two picks for this week. My first pick for the week is SYK long over 113.85. It looks great. It's holding to the highs. It's a medical equipment company and I hope it's going to continue higher. My second pick for the week is very interesting that CSC long over 51.10 and as you can see CNC gapped up very strong a few days ago and is holding near the highs and maybe moving higher. Now we call that a short squeeze. So in case it will move over the highs, it is very, very likely there will be some stop orders for short sellers, which means they will buy. They will have to cover their shorts, which means it will help the stock move up. So in case CSC would move over 51.10, I expect it to continue higher. I wish you a great trading week and see you next week.